It is huge breaking news to kick off the second hour of the football show from the championship. Wayne Rooney has been named as the new Birmingham City manager. It's a story that's been developing all week and we've been right across it here on Sky Sports News. Well, Amber Sandu has been at St Andrews for us this morning. Amber, we spoke to you just a few moments ago. It wasn't done then, but it is now. What information have you got for us? Yes, things have moved very fast in the last 48 hours, but we can confirm Wayne Rooney has been announced as a new manager of Birmingham City Football Club. The former England and Manchester United Riker signs a three and a half deal with the club. Now, this is Rooney's second English football club he has managed. Previously, he was manager of League One side Derby County in 2021. Um, and the club have also released a statement saying he starts with immediate effect, having recently left his position as head coach of Major League Soccer side DC United. We'll be bringing you all the latest and keeping you updated with further developments all of today. So there you go. The news has been confirmed. Wayne Rooney is the new manager of Birmingham City. We were just talking about it with Michael Bridge before the break. He only recently left DC United where he didn't have the best of times. They missed out on the playoffs, left them by mutual uh, consent. And then we look back to his time with Derby County where he spent a season and a half there. They were relegated, but with points deduction. So uh, plenty of mitigating circumstances with that. But let's not forget who Wayne Rooney is. He is the Manchester United record goal scorer until Harry Kane came along. He was England's record goal scorer, former England captain. A huge name has gone into Birmingham City, Sam. But is he the right name for what they need as a club? I think I think it, time will tell um, during during this period, but I think this is going to be a great opportunity for him to get back back into English football. Like we said, his his record at DC United wasn't great, but his time at Derby, you know, there there were definitely some highs, but I, I'd say the lows weren't fully down to him. So I think now with with Birmingham on the rise, you know, back to back wins there in the playoff positions, I think this is a great opportunity for for him to really like announce himself in English football. So just got some interesting quotes out of the club. Birmingham City co-owner and chairman of the board, Tom Wagner, has said Wayne is a born winner. We believe with the support of his coaching staff, the club and our supporters, he will take the Blues forward on the next stage of our journey. Remember, this was a recent takeover and they only recently got rid of John Eustace this week. They go on to say his playing philosophy will help realise the ambitions we've set for Birmingham City. Those ambitions are clear. They want to be in the Premier League. Wayne has been preparing for an opportunity like this since he embarked on his coaching education, they say, while still a player at Manchester United. And he and his staff had the full support of the board and everyone at the football club. There are more quotes out of Birmingham City as well from their chief exec, Gary Cook. He says, we're incredibly excited by Wayne's arrival. When the opportunity presents itself to appoint a manager who shares your ambition and is both a student and a great of the game, then you have to act. And that is what we've done Gary Cook goes on to say, we're confident his appointment, supported by his hand-picked coaching staff, will culminate in a young, attack-minded team that will excite our fans. The timing of the appointment, he says, will allow Wayne to evaluate the playing staff and work with Craig Gardner on the squad's recruitment needs ahead of the January and summer transfer windows. He rounds things off by saying this is a defining moment for the football club. And here we go. Here's the quotes that we really want to hear from. The man himself, Wayne Rooney, says he's absolutely delighted to be joining Birmingham City at such an exciting time. It's very clear they have a plan. They're committed to realising their ambition for the club. We are fully aligned on what is expected. I have been building my managerial career, putting myself in challenging environments to get me ready for this opportunity. And it is a project that gives me a sense of purpose and I can't wait to get started. So there you go, quotes from uh, Wayne Rooney. And quotes from the chief executive and the chairman of uh, Birmingham City. What is interesting is that they're all pointing towards the January transfer window. And I think, Zach, I don't know about you, if I was a young player who grew up in the last 10 years, he would have been someone that they would have idolised. What an opportunity to play for someone that you grew up dreaming of being. Yeah, no, massively. Wayne Rooney's had one of the best careers uh, of all time, that's for sure. Um, I think he is somebody that, as you mentioned, people would have idolised. We've, we've spoken about his kind of previous teams and how things have gone, and there has been a lot of mitigating factors. I think he actually managed to get Derby playing really good football, all things considered. It is a young team at Birmingham. It'll be interesting to see what he can do there. But it's a big call. 
It's a really big call. They're sixth in the in the championship. Obviously, the championship is such a an ever changing league. Mm. One minute Preston are at the top, and <laughs> it can it can change so so quickly. Um, I do think it's maybe in terms of the right time for him to analyse his current team, give him a couple of months to see what place he's got there, who he wants to keep, who he could possibly move on, and who he could bring in to help him out. That's the thing with Rooney. He is one of the biggest names in football over the last 10, 20 years. And if he's calling your number to say, I want you to come play for my club, I mean, it's quite hard to, to turn down that call. Yeah, student of the game as well was what uh, Gary Cook said about him. Uh, Michael, interesting comments from Gary Cook that have been released just now upon the appointment of Wayne Rooney, but he had some interesting comments earlier this week too. Yeah, I mean, I think it was mixed from Birmingham City fans in terms of John Eustace's departure. Some very disappointed, some commented on social media, well, you haven't watched Birmingham this season, but this is what Gary Cook had to say about Eustace's departure. He said, I thanked John for his hard work. I also told him that every Blues fan will be forever grateful for keeping the club in the championship last year. Tom Wagner expressed to him when they spoke later in the day that if we had been relegated, Knighthead would not have invested in Birmingham. John will forever uh, be remembered for this fact. I speak for all at the club when wishing him the very best for the future. There is never a good time to make such a decision. You need to process all of the opinions and reach for the best outcome for the future. Tom Wagner has been very clear with the ownership's ambition for Birmingham City. It is to make the club a beacon for sporting excellence and to be proudly at the centre of Birmingham's community. There is a plan and every decision we take is with the club's best interests at heart. John had clear, ambitious goals for this season. Unfortunately, following a series of meetings over a number of months, it became clear that there was a misalignment with the leadership of the club. When this happens, the best thing is to do is to part company. The timing of the decision allows the incoming manager sufficient time to evaluate the playing staff ahead of the January and summer windows. Now, that was before, and what we know now, they've got their man, and it's Wayne Rooney. Thank you, Michael. It was really interesting. He, he mentioned more than once, Gary Cook, about the timing being really important. Wayne Rooney had just become available, having left DC United, but also the timing as we work towards the January transfer window, as you said, Zach. How long-term an appointment do you think this looks, Sam, from the outskirts? Bear in mind their ambition is to be up in that top league. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's going to be a project like we hear a lot in, in football now. They've, they've noticed that you know Rooney is a young manager. He's been through been for a few clubs but at the same time he has the ambition to you know be one of the best managers in the game and he's shown he's shown you know a lot of a lot of um, personality in the situations that he's been in and he has put himself in difficult situations and I think going into this situation where the club wants to head to the Premier League they, they know how difficult the championship is they're in a great position now I think it's something that they'll probably thinking about and saying you know what even with how well we've done in recent weeks, we still want to get the next man in that is going to spearhead this next project. And I think Rooney is their man. Different clubs would go for different strategies in this position, right? The aim is we want to get into the Premier League. Some clubs might think we need a proven championship promotion manager. Yeah. Wayne Rooney is, is not that. Is this a risk, Zach? It is a risk. He's not that, but he could become that. I think that's what they're hoping. I think it's an interesting use of the word student of the game uh, because in terms of the managerial side of things, that is what he is at the moment. He's very early in his career of, of being a manager. I mean, he's been under the, the tutelage of arguably one of the greatest of all time in Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, and I'm sure he would have picked up a, a lot with how he wants to do that. You also sit there and you think maybe football's kind of slightly moved to a different version of how Alex Ferguson was playing football for Manchester United. Now you look at how Pep Guardiola is all about um, the kind of ticky-tacky football that he had at Barcelona. Um, but also how Arteta has taken it and developed it too. Um, Jurgen Klopp with his game press in. Like, this is a, a big change. So it'll be interesting to see how, how Rooney kind of wants to play his football. There's also a question, I saw it was a three-year deal, that if he does, if he is successful, but he doesn't manage to get them promoted, mm. maybe other sides will come sniffing around and thinking, well, if he, hasn't, if he hasn't got Birmingham promoted, we could take him and give him that Premier League chance. That's the thing with Wayne Rooney is he, he's, that, he's that name. Everybody knows who he is and will be keeping an eye on uh, how things work this season. Uh, I've just been told, I didn't know this, first game for Wayne Rooney and Birmingham City, Middlesbrough away against his old mate oh, Michael Carrick. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a big game. I'm sure they're going to love that. And I'm sure he's going to be up for that as well. You know, his first game against his old teammate. That, those are the type of games that you want you want to manage in and it's going to be great for him. But Rooney should take a little bit of a, a, an eye at what's happened to Carrick. Carrick last season, fantastic. Yeah. Did a really, really good job. Um, but now things have not been going so well and that's what the championship is. One season you can be at huge, huge 
heights and the next season you can be at the bottom or vice versa. Um, so he's going to have to be careful. He's going to have to make sure this has been the right move. I'm sure he has done his due diligence. Um, but yeah, I think January is going to be a, a, big, a big window for him, that's for sure. I would say one potential point of concern, Sam, would be if you look at Frank Lampard. Did quite well in the Championship with Derby. Ultimately, at this stage of his career, hasn't gone on to be a great manager. Steven Gerrard, his most recent role in England, he was sacked. There's no guarantee that these great players go on to be great managers. Yeah, there isn't, but they're still very young. And I think with, with these ex-pros, especially the, the heights that they, they um, reached at the level that they were playing at, you can see the ambition that they have with being managers. And it's the same as being a player. Sometimes you win everything and in some seasons you're not winning the, the Premier League or you're not in, in the Champions League spots. And I think with management, it's, it's much tougher because, you know, all of the eyes are on you and what you can achieve. But he's not going to be in, uh, in it by himself. He's going to have staff behind him that are going to be pushing him and they know what they want to achieve and they know what Birmingham wants to do. So I think it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for him to really test himself. And also, I mean, we've got to remember who this is. This is Wayne Rooney. Mm. I think it's somebody who has been always determined to have that winner's mentality, somebody that has always thought um, about giving himself the best opportunity to perform. He left Manchester United to, to go to other clubs to make sure that he was still playing at the top level that he could be getting the most amount of minutes for, whether that was Everton or moving to America. Um, this is somebody that has seen so much in the game and has so much experience to, to teach. The issue sometimes, we've seen it with other guys, where you mentioned Thierry Henry, uh, Thierry Henry, for instance, who was such a fantastic player, um, but because he was so good, he's trying to tell other players that aren't that same level to do these same things. <laughs> what he did, not yeah. Probably can't out. understand. Why can't yeah, you just yeah. run at a thousand miles an hour and <laughs> take step overs? Precisely this. Um, and so it's about kind of balancing both sides. I think you also got to look at some people and think, you know, when Frank Lampard was at Derby, he was able to bring those better players like Mason Mount, like Wilson, Tomori, to Derby, who really did help with the with the squad. And you saw the effect when they left the next season for them and so on, and, well, to where they are now. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's going to go one of two ways. Um, yeah, for Birmingham certainly. fans, I think they're hoping for promotion, that's uh, for sure. So he has experienced the management of Sir Alex Ferguson winning Champions Leagues as a player. He played at the top level in World Cups with England, mm. Fabio Capello, all of that, captained his country. But he also had a really important grounding in that difficult time at Derby County, ultimately being relegated. Yeah. Do you think that that will be one of the, the key ingredients to his future coaching? The fact that he's gone through that hardship, Sam? 100%. I think most footballers say that they learn more in failure than they do in, in the successes mm. that, they, that they have. And I think with that type of situation, what they went through on a week-to-week -week basis, having to you know, really motivate your team when you're going through so much, that's going to teach him so much about management. And like we said, with, with this type of role, it's not always going to be rosy. I think Postacoglu said that he's one week away from being in a crisis because that's how, <laughs> fo that's how football goes. Like You, you can yeah. have a good few weeks and then the next week they're questioning why you're managing it's and a I metaphor think, for life it, it, exactly you're so, never riding high exactly so I think this this is the perfect situation for him they they've got ambition he has ambition himself they've met at the perfect time and they're going to see what happens and just finally for now I'm sure we'll talk more about this Zach what, what then has to become his realistic expectation from his bosses this season I think with the words that have been said, they've, they've set lofty heights. They want playoffs. Mm. They want playoffs. Um, and to make the call that they have at this time, I think showcases that too. They want, they, they want a manager that has a huge name to bring in attractive prospects. Um, I think January will be really, really interesting. I'm sure they'll be doing work from now up to January, for especially sure, sure. Wayne Rooney's phone is going to be, it's going to be very, very busy over the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, I think the, the ultimate aim is getting to the Premier League this season.